During our Farm Basics time today, we're going to talk about the reproductive stages in corn. Now, when you're driving around the countryside and you see tassels coming out of the corn plants, you might think, oh, that's the start of reproduction. Technically, that's not actually the start of reproduction. When you see tasseling, that's the last vegetative stage. Well, all right, so you, you may say, well, I'm not a corn farmer here. Why is this important for me to know? Do you like sweet corn? I talked to so many folks who asked me questions about sweet corn. Well, how come there were a few kernels missing on my ear of sweet corn? Or how come it didn't fill out to the tip? Hey, guess what? Today's discussion is for all you sweet corn lovers out there too, but also if you've ever raised some corn, whether it's in your garden or out in a field, knowing these reproductive stages is important to understand how things work with corn plants. So as Brian mentioned, the tassel is the last vegetative stage. Now that corn plant has reached its maximum growth, the root system is at its maximum capacity, and the reason why, we've got that great big plant out there to catch sunlight energy and also to pull water and nutrients from the root system to start feeding that plant as it wants to fill out an ear. Okay, Darren mentioned missing kernels on the ear. Here's how you can tell if you're going to have missing kernels or not. So R1, or reproductive stage, one is called silking and silks will come out the end of the ear and if they each catch pollen and get fertilized then they will transport that down to where that kernel would be and then that silk will detach itself from where that kernel was but every single silk is attached to one kernel so it doesn't become a kernel unless that silk gets fertilized and this is one of the reasons why we often talk about having multiple varieties in a field just so there's more pollen that's blowing around we want lots of tassels from different types of plants if possible I, I mean different varieties so then you have a longer window and you just have flat out more pollen because variety by variety there are some differences out there some will start putting those silks out a little quicker than other hybrids and if the window isn't quite right where the tassel is starting to shed pollen and the silks aren't quite out the end of the ear you could run into trouble the other thing that you'll notice with the silks is sometimes the husk is really really tight around the ear and if you get the wrong weather conditions it can hold tight and not really let the silks out and the silks can ball up inside the ear and then you just don't get any pollination at all. That's very rare, that doesn't happen very often. Most of the time those silks come out, they can be really short, maybe only an inch or two long or they could be several inches long and hang down from the ear as well. All right, so real quick, let's go through all six stages of reproduction in corn. Once those silks are pollinated and that little pollen could land anywhere on the silk, then that moves down and it fertilizes that kernel. What you'll see then is it, you'll see the reproductive stage two being a blister and that silk will release from the ear. Then you have milk, then you have the dough stage, then you have the dent stage where that kernel is big and plump and it starts to dent in on the end. Now it doesn't always have to dent in, but it, it often is going to dent in. And then eventually you'll get to what's termed black layer. Once that kernel is done with development, it's done filling up with nutrients, the bottom of it will basically turn black where it hooks on. So it's like got an umbilical cord basically attaching into the cob. And so once you get to black layer, your kernel has about 35 to 40% moisture in it and then farmers are going to wait until that dries down to somewhere between 15 and 25 percent and then they'll start their harvest. All right so reproduction in corn is one of the basic things that farmers have to know as is weed control especially when it comes to our weed of the week. We'll tell you how to stop this tough weed later in the show. <music>